fellow alchemists, welcome back to our series on how to deploy Phoenix. A recent development just came out. Uh, Elixir 1.9 is going to be uh, including a very awesome feature which will let you actually to create your own releases without having to include something like distillery. And uh, this is extremely exciting because I think the, the point of having to add an extra dependency just to create an OTP release is just, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I'm very glad that they finally added this ability into uh, the language itself. Um, now the only downside I could find so far, there may be some more, but the only downside I could find so far is that they do not support um, hot code reloading. And that's okay for me because I never really use it too much. I've only used it for uh, the demo I did for you guys. Otherwise, uh, I tend to deploy my apps using Kubernetes. So having hot code reload is not very important to me at this moment, but possibly in the future I could be using it. And so uh, what I wanted to do this week, since I've been so busy working on other projects, uh, I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use this upcoming feature. Uh, right now Elixir 1.9, uh, is still in uh, it's in the first release candidate stage. And so I went ahead and included this tool version. So if you use ASDF, you can quickly install this uh, 1.9 RC0. And I'm also using the latest uh, Erlang version at this moment. And I'm using a very bare uh, project. And what I did was I just went ahead and changed the IP address just to be my local host. Uh, it's not super important. And behind the scenes, I went ahead and I built this, the assets for my project. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, and I'm also configuring this to serve the web app. So nothing too special. And I don't need the prod secrets. Um, otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same as we've been doing for this series. And uh, also to show you guys, there is no distillery being used. Okay, this is all from Elixir 1.9. Now, to get started, the first thing we need to do is we need to do the similar uh, task that we have for distillery, which is mix release init. Now this creates the, the rel directory, just like we've seen before, but we have different files. And so you see there's one for, there's a template file for Windows, the .bat uh, for Unix or uh, Linux or Mac or whatever. There's also this one and the VM args. I haven't really gone through this yet. Um, I just kind of played with it. And so just so you can change some of the, um, the things around. Um, but that's, if you just start with the basics right now, you have enough really to get started. And I've already ran my uh, assets. So you see that within my static, I have all of my static assets already prepared. So I did that behind the scenes. And if I want to build a production release, it's quite simple. I do it the same way I've been doing it, which is to set the mix environment to prod and run mix release. Since I've already built it before, I just remove that. And there we go, that's it. And the commands slightly differ, but the start one is, is good enough for us to kind of show how to do it. So if we grab this, copy this, paste it in here, and we run it. You can see our app is running perfectly fine. And so if I go to localhost port 4000, there's our app running. Perfect, you can see it's, it's very simple to use. It's very similar to distillery. Uh, not many commands, just release init. You can edit those template files. As you can see, I didn't really need to. And then mix release and you're done. So I'm very excited for this new release and I can't wait for it to come out into production. So again, this is Alan from Plangora and this is just a quick preview on how to use the new uh, mix release task for Elixir 1.9. I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe if you haven't. Bye.